everybody, so I recently picked up some new face products, like makeup products. Some things I picked up at the drugstore and some things I received in Ipsy, and I haven't tried them yet, so I just had them laying out in front of me here, and I thought, why not do kind of a first impressions as I'm getting ready? So that's what I'm going to do right now. The only product I have on my face so far is my BB cream slash foundation, because these aren't new, they're just my favorites, but I thought I'd show you what's already on my face. The Super Goop CC Cream. This is the medium to dark, and I mixed it with a bit of this CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous in 115 because I'm I'm not so tan right now. I'm a little bit tan, but not too tan. So I mix the two together. That's what's on my face. Also, I did my brows ahead of time with the Anastasia Brow Pomade. This stuff, which I love. So I started off with these two products because I don't have new products of these kind of things, but the rest of it pretty much is new, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you what I think. So the first product is from Hard Candy. This is the Glamouflage Concealer. I've heard really great things about this, that it's super high coverage. So I'm going to go ahead and try this out under my eyes. I have the shade Fair, if you're wondering. And if you're wondering why I'm not talking super loud, it's because Cassidy is sleeping. Well, it's a bit watery. so. I'm just going to wipe that off. I'm going to shake it up a bit first because it's separated a bit. Yeah, Cassidy's sleeping, so I don't want to be super loud, but hopefully you guys can still hear me fine. So I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger because I heard a little bit of this stuff. There you go. It goes a super long way. I have my mirror here. I'm just going to pat a bit on my finger and then pat some under my eye. Now, this might be a bit light for me looks quite fair. I think this would be a really good color when I don't have a tan at all. But I'm gonna make it work. I'm just patting it kind of in a triangle shape underneath my eyes. It's very thin in consistency, that's for sure. There's one eye there. I'm just gonna do the other eye and then I'm gonna blend it in with my beauty blender. But just from looking in the mirror here, it looks like it is pretty dang high, high coverage, that's for sure. I like to just drag a bit up onto my cheekbone for a bit of an extra highlight. Pat that in real well. Yeah, very thin in consistency, very brightening. Pretty darn good coverage. Put some down my nose, between my eyebrows. I get quite um, dark between my eyebrows. I'm not sure why. And I have a little bit left on my finger, and I'll just put it right here on my chin, just to bring light to that area of my face. All right, let's grab a beauty blender. Go. There it is. This is quite dirty. I actually need to wash this. Alright, so there it is there, all blended in. I think it's definitely a shade too light for me, but coverage-wise and consistency, it's quite nice. I'm curious to see how it holds up throughout the day. It also came with this Hard Candy Concealer Imperfection in Light Pale. It's a pencil, so I'm assuming this is more for like spot treatments. It's, it's decently creamy, I just tested it out on my hand. So I'm gonna find some spots. I know I had a zit up here somewhere. Yeah, you can see it a bit on camera. Let's see how this guy does with the pencil. Pretty good. Other than the fact that it's too light. But um, that blended in with my BB cream really well. Is there anywhere else? I always have this sunspot right there. Or like broken blood vessel, I guess. Not sure if it picks up on camera. Hmm. Didn't do as well with the red color of this vein. But with the zit, it did pretty well with like the purpley tone. 
All right. So undecided on the pencil, that's for sure. I'm gonna grab my favorite setting powder, the NARS. This is not new to me. I use this every day of my life. I'm just gonna set those products and then I'll move on to some other new products. All right, so next is a bronzer. This is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess bronzer that it came in an Ipsy. Looks like it's got, you know, a fair amount of shimmer in it. So I'm not necessarily gonna contour with it, but I am just gonna kind of bronze up my face a bit. And when I swatch it on my finger, um, it actually seems quite light, so. Not too sure how much color is going to show up. Yeah, it's quite light. But it's definitely going to give my skin some glow, that's for sure. glow, like a little bit of depth. Definitely not a contour, but I think this would be good for like beach days or where you're not wearing too much makeup, but you want a bit of glow. All right, the next product is a blush. Pick this up at Superstore. This is the Milani Powder Blush in the color Tea Rose. Look how pretty that packaging is. Can open for me. And this is a matte blush which are my favorites. There's the color there. It's pretty much what the name says. Well it says tea rose. This is like a dusty type rose. So I have a feeling this is going to be quite pigmented because most Milani blushes are. So I'm just going to grab some, tap it off and blow on it. I don't want to be crazy blush face. Yeah even with doing that there's still quite a bit of color coming off, but that's a really pretty color. Look at that. That is quite pretty, I like that. Okay, let's do it again. All right. It almost seems like, I don't know, in the viewfinder it looks a bit glowy. I think that's more the concealer though. It's a very natural, pretty color though. Right, for highlight, I've had this for a long time, but I've never actually used it. I think it came in an Ipsy a while back. This is Vintage by Jessica Liebskind. I'm not sure how to say that. There it is there, and it's like a pink highlight, and I really like pink shades. So that's what that looks like, and then swatched. Looks like that. So I don't think it's going to be too overpowering pink. Let's see how it looks. I'm just putting some on my fan brush. Oh yeah, it's definitely got a pink glow to it. Oh, you can see it. That's really pretty though. I think if you were to use this with a blush that had shimmer in it though, um, it would be too much. You definitely have to use it with pink products. You couldn't be using a coral blush and then this pink highlight. I think that would look a little crazy. I don't know, maybe someone's done it, it looks fine, but... Ooh. All right, the last product is a lip product. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this or not, but it's from City Color, and it's the Creamy Lip Stain in Flirtini. Another Ipsy bag. Um, thing that came in Ipsy bag, so I'm gonna try this out. It looks very pigmented, a bit dangerous. Yep. <laughs> I barely put any on and I rubbed my lips together and went pow everywhere just trying to get it in the corners so this looked like more of a dusty rose in its packaging on the lips, it's definitely got more like magenta to it. I don't know if this is my favorite color, but I wanted to try it out. I'm gonna let it dry. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and I will be back. All right, so I decided to finish with just a basic matte kind of contoured 
I look. I actually filmed a separate tutorial on this one and I will have that up in a couple days but um, if it's up I will link it down below if you want to see that. It's just a very basic look. But here are the face products finished. I'm loving the highlight. I think that, that pink looks really pretty and the blush as well. The bronzer, I don't know, I'm not really into shimmery bronzers. The lip product, I mean it's on, been on my lips for about 15 to 20 minutes now probably and it's still not dried like I can still move it around my lips um, so it doesn't feel drying which is nice but the color I just don't think the color is me so I'm not a huge fan of that what else did I try oh the concealer let's get in I'm looking down at my mirror here okay so it settled a bit into the fine lines under my eyes but no more than any other concealer <sighs> I don't know I think I still like my MAC Pro Longwear better did I try out anything else? Oh, that spot concealer. It's definitely still covered the spot up there. Not so much on my cheek. So hit or miss on that one, but it was fun to try out these products. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions about them, please feel free to let me know. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.